Hi, I'm Daryl Nail with NASA's Communications, and welcome to this special 50th anniversary event for Apollo 11, 50 years since the launch of three men to the moon. And I'm joined with a very special guest, Michael Collins. Michael, thank you so much. An Apollo 11 astronaut uh, back here at KSC. It's special to have you here. Um, you were just out there at the pad. What was that like when the clock turned 50? D Daryl, I didn't even notice the clock. Are you? Uh, I, I suppose I would have stuck my thumb in my mouth and been terrorized, I suppose. But uh, no, it was just like old home week. I enjoyed being out there, seeing so many old friends around here, uh, seeing Apollo converted into Artemis. That's a, a wonderful process in and of itself. And so I, I just feel very fortunate to, to be here now and to have a chance to look around just a little bit. A lot of people celebrating this anniversary event um, today. Um, many remember it, but there are many who don't as well. Um, we just had a full moon. I don't know if you noticed. It was bright in the sky uh, last night. Um, when you look up to the moon, what do you think about it? You know, I don't, um, I don't really... Uh, think about the moon ahead of time. I'll be walking along uh, in the middle of the night and you know there's something over there and I look up and over my right shoulder, ah, that's the moon, you know? <laughs> I think, oh, you know, I've been there. And it takes me by surprise every time that I see that. It, I'm very surprised that I've actually been there. It is, yeah. even for you. Yes, uh, even, yes, definitely, definitely for me, yes. Wow. Um, what about the technological advancements that Apollo gave us? There are so many that we enjoy today. What are the ones that, that you uh, think had the biggest impact or that you recall? Well, to me, uh, to me, the flight of Apollo to the moon, would you can describe it as a long daisy chain of events. And uh, I don't know how many links are in that chain. I counted them up one time. I think I got 29 events that were important milestones along the way. If any one of them gets broken, all the others downstream are useless. So what I brought away from Apollo um, more than anything else was the attention to detail that our workers and our administrators gave to putting equipment together on the ground and then testing it in as close to flight conditions as they could, and deciding whether that equipment was go or no go for a round trip to the moon. And they were masterful in their ability to do that, reject the weak, uh, enhance the strong, and make that daisy chain a viable necklace, if you will, and with no link broken. Having no link broken, that, that to me was the crux of it. You know, um, with the 50 years since uh, the United States went to the moon, we are now planning the next moon mission, Artemis, as you're aware, um, to return to the moon for a sustainable presence, but then also as a proving ground for technology to go on to Mars. What are your hopes for well, our exploration efforts? My, uh, <clears throat> my friend Neil Armstrong, who is a much better engineer than I, thought that uh, when he considered Mars, that there were chinks in our knowledge, and it would be wise to fill those chinks by a detour by way of the moon. Uh, I'm reading uh, daily about the advantages of returning to the moon. I heard uh, Jeff Bezos uh, say about a week ago that uh, if you want to get to Mars in a hurry, go by way of the moon. Uh, I don't believe either one of them. Uh, I, I would uh, propose what I would I call the uh, JFK Mars Express. Uh, John F. Kennedy's mandate to us, land a man on the moon by the end of the decade, return him safely to Earth. That was a masterpiece of simplicity, and it allowed us uh, to keep the pace, make great inroads into a complicated venture. We could quote Kennedy, Kennedy said this, uh, you're behind three weeks on that, let's get it going. And I would like to see that same kind of national focus put to work, not on return to the moon, but in a, 
a more important, gr more, a grander, more complicated voyage visiting the planet Mars, which is a lot more interesting place than the moon. So I say go, go direct to Mars, JFK Mars Direct All Express. Right. There you go, straight there. We've got some rovers there now. Yeah. Um, with regards to the, the historic launch, um, many people were brought together. I hear this time and time again for people who are involved in the Apollo program, that it was such a unifying event. People around the world, all together, hoping for the same thing. Um, now, as we move forward with the next program, what message would you give to the next generation of space engineers and, and the people here working on the program? Well, somehow we ought to recreate that week of wonder, if you will. Uh, and I know that it's true that it was a very powerful, uh, a very powerful inclusion in uh, people's psyche uh, in those uh, days. Uh, the fact that we uh, went to the moon, uh, I was amazed. We, uh, Neil Buzz and I made a trip around the world right afterwards, I think 29 cities. Wherever we went, I expected uh, people to say, oh, you Americans finally did it. Uh-uh. -uh. Without exception. Everywhere we went, it was unanimous. They said, we did it. We human beings left this dinky little planet, if you want to call it that. We, we, we have gone beyond the surface of our home planet, outward bound. And uh, I, I think that's a, a wonderful unifying moment in our history. Uh, whether we can recreate that uh, unification, that sense of awe, that sense of joining in and, and being happy about something. But I hope we can. And I think future voyages, I think the obvious one would be Mars would certainly, uh, would certainly elicit the same kind of support worldwide, and it probably would be uh, in excess of the support that we had on, uh, on, a, on Apollo, just to that dinky little thing out there, the moon, <laughs> instead of this magnificent far off planet. Right. Michael Collins, yes. Apollo 11 astronaut here at the Kennedy Space Center on the 50th anniversary thank, of thank, the moon landing. Thank you, Darrell. Thank, thank you. you very enjoy much for enjoy being talking here. to you. It was an honor. That's it for us. I'm Daryl Nail with NASA's Communications. Thank you for watching.